Okay, there is a fox walking towards me about 400 metres away down this track. I've just managed to grab the vlogging camera and I'm going to stick it on a tripod. I doubt there's going to be time for any video. Then I'll get the proper camera out of the bag and crouch down really low and keep myself as small as possible because there's absolutely no cover here in this snow. This is one of those days where you realise how fantastic it is just to get out into nature, especially with weather like this. The snow today is a bit unexpected, but it's been absolutely beautiful. Taking a camera is also a great way to relieve stress and boredom at the moment, because even if it's a small point and shoot camera or your mobile phone, it takes your mind out of the situation for a little while and enables you to concentrate on either birds or flowers or at this time of the year the snowfall which just looks absolutely beautiful in the sunshine. If you are going to walk around with a camera then it often pays to be a little bit prepared um, and in my case I dial all the settings that I will need for various scenarios into the camera and save them as memory presets before I leave the house and that enables me to quickly select one that best suits the situation. So this morning was a good example of that when I saw a fox walking towards me along the path and I could get the camera out of the bag, quickly select the preset and then photograph the fox without worrying about whether my aperture was correct or my ISO and things like that. Now walking around and hoping to see wildlife is not often the best way of doing it because foxes for example can see and hear you coming from miles away. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that you shouldn't be prepared if you do see something. And often it's when you least expect it. So I think what I'm going to do next is go back into the warmth and explain a little bit more how I set my camera up and some of the presets I use for both wildlife photography and landscape photography. The camera settings for landscape and wildlife photography can be quite different and oftentimes it takes a little while to change between them you also run the risk of missing something critical and ruining your photographs. So this is why I use camera presets. Now you'll find this function on most digital cameras, even small point and shoot cameras. It enables you to configure the camera before leaving the house and save a detailed set of settings. Now on Sony, the preset modes are labelled 1 to 3, so that's quite straightforward. This is an A7R3. On a Canon, this is a 5DS, they're labelled C1 to C3. And on a Nikon, they're labelled U1 to U3. 
although that depends a little bit on which particular camera model you have. When you select one of the preset modes, it switches the camera to a previously configured setup and means you can change a huge number of settings really quickly. It's even possible to program different functions for different buttons on the camera. So for example, if you like back button focus for landscapes, but don't use it for wildlife. On all my cameras, C1 is set up for landscape photographs. C2 is birds in flight and C3 is general wildlife photographs and I keep this consistent across all my camera bodies and all the different manufacturers which means that I'm not confused and I don't have to think about which mode I'm using when I'm out in the field and presented with an amazing opportunity. Now the only slight exception to this in terms of my cameras at least is the Sony A9 which uses a manual dial for the focusing mode and the frame rate. And that's not something that can be stored into a memory. So all you have to do is set your camera up prior to leaving the house. Um, so for example, if you're going to set up C1 for landscape photography, as I have, then that's likely to be something like F11, ISO 100 and single shot mode. And once you have those settings, it's really simple to save them into one of the memories. You can configure the camera to suit your particular style and type of photography. But if you'd like to see a bit more detail about my landscape settings and the wildlife settings, just leave a comment below the video. In the meantime, I think it's probably a good idea to get back out into that amazing snow. When I'm out on my daily walk, I'm probably a little more equipped than most people because I carry a mirrorless camera, uh, a big telephoto lens, and just in case a 24 to 70. Um, but this brings me back to what I was talking about earlier on in the vlog, and that was setting up custom modes on your camera and memory settings so that you can switch from one genre of photography to another without worrying about your camera settings too much. Now I realise walking around with a huge telephoto lens is probably not for everybody but I also carry from time to time a little point and shoot camera. This is just a basic Panasonic Lumix but the good thing about this is it's got a 30x uh, optical zoom so if I'm worried about getting wildlife photographs as well as getting landscape photographs this is a brilliant little thing to put in your pocket. Now I'm really lucky because I've got some amazing countryside right on my doorstep but even if you live in a town or a city you can often find little pockets of nature that you can explore and make your own. I think many of us have been struggling over the last few months um, being stuck at home and the pressure of what's going on in the world but getting outside and getting in touch with nature is a brilliant stress relief and there are a few better excuses for doing that than to take your camera. Your camera puts your mind in a different headspace. You're concentrating on the settings a little bit, you're looking at the world around you in a different way and that takes you away from the day-to-day -day pressures and stress that you might be experiencing. 
Well, today's vlog was really intended to be about preparing your camera for a daily walk, programming some of the settings in that you need for landscape and wildlife photography so that you can quickly switch between them. But actually it's turned into a brilliant example of what you can see when you get out of the house and into some countryside. Just a short while ago, uh, when the fox was walking towards me along the path, it was a fantastic experience and an amazing opportunity. And I was able to get the camera out of the bag really quickly and dial in the settings I wanted using one of the memory modes. But now, after this really heavy snowfall for the last half an hour or so, it's turned more into a landscape walk. And again, I can just quickly select one of the presets on the camera and take advantage of this amazing scenery. It has been an amazing couple of hours. First seeing the fox and now this incredible snowfall. And I love the snow. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe because subscribing really helps us grow the channel. Thank you for watching.